time once again for me to make our famous roulette cake. And um, this time I have some special guests. Hey, open your eyes. <laughs> Whoa! A B family. And I'm so excited. They're gonna be in the kitchen. And I'm gonna do some digging. I wanna find out what really grosses them out, that turns their stomach. So make sure to watch all the way to the end, guys, because me and the AB family are gonna play this game of roulette cake. To make my graveyard roulette cake, I baked 10 pounds of vanilla cake and 10 pounds of chocolate cake, both in my largest rectangle pan. Level them cut the caramelization off the bottom of the vanilla one and then cut the caramelization off the sides as well. With chocolate cake, we don't have to worry about the caramelization on the sides because, well, you can't see it, but I do need these cakes to be the same size. So I'm just gonna measure the vanilla cake now that it's nice and trimmed and cut my chocolate cake to the same size. The next thing I wanna do is layer both of these cakes into two layers. But when you're layering a large rectangle, it's really hard to get it straight, like really hard. And if when I lift one layer off the other, there is a bit of a dip, I'll just cut it away from the top layer and like mm -hmm. push it back in place and no one will know, except you because you're watching it. <laughs> so now I have four, this is not four. <laughs> so now- Confirmed, that is not four. Not four. Uh, now I have four layers of cake, two vanilla and two chocolate, and I'm gonna get Sir Squeeze to help me shower them with simple syrup. And everyone, please notice the lovely overhead slider shot of the simple syruping, thanks to Cody. Cody! You should see it, it's a full overhead. Soon you guys are gonna be like, am I watching Mission Impossible or how to cake it? It's gonna be great. Gabriella, was it? Yes. Yes, and what is it you do again? I do videos with my family. Where do you put those videos? On a platform called YouTube. YouTube! YouTube. Oh. And so what I do is I put secret chambers in the cake. Whoa. And then I fill the chambers, some of them with yummy things that you would want to eat with cake, and then some of them with things that are yummy, but not when they're not in cake. What would you <laughs> least like to eat? Probably just ketchup. Ketchup. In the cake. Okay, I'm gonna write, jot that down. And, okay, so like, what what would your brother at least like to eat? Oh. That's how you gotta ask the sibling. Put like, um, That's how you know. Fishy yeah, in the something cake. Like, or like sardines. Like anchovies. Anchovies. It's time to fill these cakes with Italian meringue buttercream. I just think like, there's gonna be some nastiness involved, so we need some goodness, right? Mm -hmm. We've got vanilla cake, chocolate cake, Italian meringue buttercream. So not everything has changed. Mm -hmm. I still want the cake to be somewhat delicious. <laughs> and as I fill and stack my cake, I alternate the flavors. It's vanilla chocolate, vanilla chocolate. Once it's completely full, I'm gonna pop it in my fridge to chill because having the buttercream nice and set will make it easier for me to cut out all my chambers. I made a template. <laughs> because I do think that, you know, whenever I go to the cemetery, the graves are nicely in rows. Yeah. So I'm gonna stick to that. I made a grid, I worked out where the 10 graves should go, and I cut them out of my paper with an X-Acto knife. Now I'm gonna lay this template onto the top of my cake and I'm going to use my sharp paring knife straight down into the cake and I'm gonna cut along the openings that I made in my template. And now I'm gonna use a small spatula to help me lift the cake out, leaving that bottom vanilla layer intact. It actually worked out great. I was worried about this. You're actually digging graves. That I'm so digging. Cool. Graves, yeah. cake graves. I love it. So now all 10 of my graves have been dug. I should have been dressed like, I was gonna say, I should have been dressed like a grave digger, but I think they just dress like regular people <laughs> and dig graves. <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. Okay. I don't think there's a fancy uniform. No, I, I don't. <laughs> I doubt you'd want that written. You know what I mean? Like officer, no. grave digger, no. People will be like avoiding you on the side. It's not good. 
Oh yes, your sister told me all about this thing called YouTube. Oh my goodness, yeah. Tell me about it. Um, well, you just, you film videos on there. Okay. And uh, hopefully they do well. This, we got Jocelyn. I know, we really We've got We've been like it. resting on our laurels. What are we doing? I'd like to know if you introduce yourself at school as Mr. B. Yes. Did you walk <laughs> into grade nine, like day one? Sometimes when we're doing like group or like even presentations up where I'm presenting up to my class, I have to make sure I don't start off as, if I say, hi, my name is, Re yeah. And so I got to make sure that I'm not like, hey guys, my name is Mr. B. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Click the link below. Exactly. Like at the end, you're telling your teacher. Click the link below if you like yeah. it. Mm. For Gabriella and your parents, what would they? This is your chance. Mm. Tell me what to put in it. Okay. Like an octopus? Like squid mm -hmm. or octopus? Yeah. yeah. Oh, man. Probably something expired. <laughs> oh, that's just, that's a brilliant answer. Yeah. I'm not gonna go that far. That's throwing an expired apple. Ooh, basically a rotten apple. Yes. I don't think they call them expired. Yeah, yeah I've, no, never, I think I've it's, never heard that. Before. Yeah, I think it's yeah. rotten. It's time to crumb coat and chill this cake with chocolate ganache. Mm. I was gonna use black chocolate ganache. I didn't quite make enough, but the good news is I had chocolate ganache. So I'm gonna do my crumb coat in regular chocolate ganache. Mm. Keep that cake sealed, and now I'm gonna chill the whole cake. Okay, so while my cake is chilling, I'm going to roll out some gray fondant into sheets. So I made some gray fondant. You know, I always like to pre-color my fondant. This is the stuff I get excited about. It was just an opportunity for me to use a lot of leftover colors I had that together could make gray. So I had like a little bit of black, a little bit of like a nasty green. I had some actual gray, I had some beige. So I just put it all together. And there was this weird, like, spooky, oh, you'll perfect. see. This is a spooky graveyard. And now I'm using this wood grain embosser that I've had for years. It's just like a textured mat. You lay it on top of your fondant, and then I'm gonna use a small rolling pin to roll over it and really make the impression in the fondant. Once I'm happy with the texture, I'm going to chill these sheets so they'll be easier to cut. So now, my cake was chilling, now my fondant's chilling, now I'm gonna take the cake back out. And it is time to ice my cake with black chocolate ganache. Now you know this is a graveyard. The one thing I love about making black chocolate ganache is you just make chocolate ganache and then you just add the black food coloring to that. You don't have to worry about how smooth the top looks because there will be dirt in this grave. There will be dirt. Or dirt. Dirt. Before the ganache on the top of the cake completely sets, I'm going to use a scoop to scoop on some Oreo crumbs all around the graves. So just sort of, it's like you're fertilizing your lawn. You know, just drop <laughs> the Oreo crumbs. Some crumbs might fall into the graves. That's the life of a grave digger. Goes with it. What's the last thing you'd want to find in that cake to eat? Mm. What's the last food? I would say anything fishy. Sardines. What are you writing? What are you doing? Just, it's just my idea book. Fond, is it fondant or fondant? I say fondant. Fondant? But if you're fancy, you could say fondant. Fondant. Okay, now I want the real goods. Okay. What, what would your kids and your wife least like to eat? Anything spicy. Oh. Something spicy. Like okay. Something peppery. Hot stuff. Hot stuff. Possibly fish, possibly hot stuff. Yeah. How about like, Vegetable, like something that's not that gross, but you mm. don't want to eat it in cake. Kale, cabbage, Kale, cabbage brush, yes. Brussels sprouts. Brussels sprouts probably not be a good idea. Why are you writing in that book? <laughs> I want to cut the textured fondant into strips. Of course, I'm using a ruler. <laughs> Just because it's a graveyard doesn't mean we can't measure. You know? How are you supposed to rest in peace? Exactly. <laughs> Hello. You better have a fence. <laughs> Hello. So, and then I want my fence to be like angled at the top. Perfect. Yes. And then I use my knife and I just cut on an angle till the tip of my knife met the board, right? So I could cut a whole bunch and then make sure to cut half of your slats in the other direction. And also, you need some remaining slats. These are the ones that would hold the fence together. Like right. they would be horizontal, and those you don't need any angle. 
just straight. It doesn't look like the fence of an old scary cemetery. So I'm gonna fix that. I'm gonna use some white food coloring. And basically what I wanna do is paint each slat, but I wanna paint it in perfectly. So I'm just gonna like, you know, paint here and there, brush here and there. I'm using a bigger brush to just blend it a bit, but I want this fence to look like it was once a white picket fence mm. and is not anymore. The slats are dry and I have some of my black chocolate ganache in a piping bag. So what I wanna do is flip the slats over and then pipe a line of ganache. Ganache will stick to ganache. And basically I'm gonna lay on my fence. So the most important thing to remember is to um, alternate the angles so it ends up looking like this. And then I started to purposely like change the angles of each slat. Yeah. Right? Just have, you gotta look like the fence is not holding up well. It's decaying, it's weathered, the paint's come off. You know, that's what we're going for. Can you give me a throw to our roulette wheel playlist? Oh! Roulette cakes playlist. What? We have so many of these now. Why don't you check out our roulette cakes playlist? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, look at me. Okay, so now should I go to chocolate molds and then that way we get to nastiness? So I have some chocolate molds that are tombstones, hens, and, oh, the tombstone one has some bones, hens, and skulls. So for this, I'm going to melt some candy melts. I have white and I have black. The skull mold is actually two halves, so the front and the back of the head. I just wanna fill them nicely, bang out the mold a bit to get any air bubbles. But I'm also gonna fill the hens and the bone portion of the mold that's on the tombstone mold. I have a feeling these hens are gonna to be too big. They're off scale, for me. it's like a giant. And for my tombstone section of the mold, what I'm gonna do now is I have some melted black candy melts. I'm just gonna add a bit to my white. I wanna get gray. Very tombstone. I'm very in. Now I'm gonna pipe this gray chocolate into the tombstone portion of the mold and set everything aside to set. The bones in the tombstone mold, like they're not scary at all. Yeah. <laughs> they're gonna need some help. They look like dog biscuits. Like they're not scary, but it's okay. I'm still gonna fill them. Okay, I'm so happy you're here. You're happy. I'm happy. Do you know how much I love you? Oh, thank you. I love you too. <laughs> I just realized today that your children are only one year apart. Yes. Back to back to back. The first two years, we call them the dark years. Okay. So, what would you like to torture them with today and have me put in a cake? Mushrooms. Mushrooms. <laughs> right? What? Yes. Like even if they're sauteed with white wine, no, just no oh. mushrooms. Cooked tomatoes. Cooked to, ooh. Right? Yeah, that would be weird. Yeah, when it's like would be juicy and watery. Juicy tomatoes. Mm, watery, juicy tomato in a cake. No. <laughs> um, so can you tell me about your channel? Tell the people about your channel. Um, well, we make family-friendly videos, mm -hmm. so we make people laugh. And uh, most re recently, I've been doing more like women's empowerment and humanitarian things, and those are the things that bring me joy. Good. Yeah. That's awesome. So it brings you joy, and it brings others joy watching. Oh, thank you. And you bring everyone joy. Oh, thank you. Except today when you eat my cake. <laughs> it won't have joy in it. <laughs> Now that I have more information of exactly what I want to put in this cake, it's time I do it. So I had anchovies, marinated calamari or squid, pickles, liver pate, and Brussels sprouts. I just want to clarify, I actually love all of these foods. Maybe not anymore. I just don't want to eat them in cake. I just, I did all the nasty ingredients first. Now because some of the nasty ingredients, like the anchovies for example, they don't have a lot of body, so I, I layered in anchovies and Oreo crumbs. Oh, it's it's really a grave now. I'm burying the anchovies. I love Brussels sprouts, they get a bad rap. They, they're so good. They're just, they're adorable little cute cabbages. They're like, mini little cabbages. They're so cute. And in my yummy graves, I put gummy worms, I put some white chocolate covered 
Halloween inspired pretzels. Um, there were some pumpkin little gummy shaped like pumpkins. It's like a Halloween medley of gummies. Now I'm gonna take some more Oreo crumbs in a bowl and I'm going to mix in some melted butter. Just like I was making a cheesecake crust. Okay, and this will keep the Oreo crumbs looking a little more glossy. It helps them to stick together a little more. It basically looks like fresh dirt. We have to cover the evidence. Um, but they're not marked. They need tombstones. Chocolate this is cemetery. not one of those beautiful cemeteries that people jog through <laughs> for the flowers. This is the one you avoid. I wanna make it clear. Now I can add some skulls to this cake, dog bones. <laughs> they definitely look like cartoon dog bones. So I'm gonna break some up, I'm gonna chip away at them. And I also have some bone-shaped sprinkles. Some of them are bloody, some of them are not. I'm gonna just add them. There's just piles of bones everywhere in this cemetery. So the grave digger is not doing a very good job. No, he's not. <laughs> he's not. He's digging up the wrong graves, like, and then just like, oh well, I'll put this over here. This is my caking tea, but you could get your own baking tea. And if you want to become a part of our deluxe membership, then you will get a tea just like this, our monthly sprinkle medley, and a free surprise gift to your door every single month. Wow. <laughs> I'm trying to be all like QVC with this. <laughs> okay, AB family, let's do this. Oh, oh there we go. go. Okay. And this is this is our this is our roulette. I put the hand here, Jocelyn, as the marker. Oh, perfect. See that? Yeah, it's wherever oh. it lands. So we're gonna spin it and what I, wherever it lands. Okay. You guys look that way. Should we close our eyes? Sure. Oh, there's some. Sprinkles on the floor? Nothing, nothing to eat. Okay, everybody stay still. Okay, you can't look yet, right? Okay, open your eyes. Wow! Wow! What? You're oh gonna be less gosh. wowed at the taste. Oh. Half of them are filled with good things and half of them are not. Fondants. What? Fondants. 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 Yeah. That sounds like fawn. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 dad joke. Uh, so clap for dad. Well done. Well done. So who wants to go first? <laughs> Actually, ladies first. Of all. Oh, oh, I'm a gentleman. Okay, so uh, Gabriella, you just give it one, okay. two, three. Oh, oh. A skull, skull down. <laughs> skull down. Skull down. It's skull okay. Down. It's all right. Didn't hurt him. Oh. This, looks like so this is yeah. Wheel, Wheel of misfortune. Of misfortune. No. That's a thick piece of paper. Oh. oh! See, the grave is yeah. in this piece. Oh! oh. Okay, it's. Oh, that's a little. Oh, it's what? weird. It's weird. Squid. Oh, oh, so gross! <laughs> Ew! Oh, why is that's it orange? Gross. It's cooked oh. and it's like marinated. Ah! Yeah. Oh. Okay. All right, here oh. we go. Squid cake. Oreo you can do impressed. It. Wait, you I, can like, do it. I like um, I like calamari though, so this might be fine. There we go. Go for it. Go don't for smell it. it. Go Smelling for it, it will ruin it. Yeah, it's like, it. don't look down, just. It. Oh, you gotta go full. You gotta go full. Make for the vine. Yes, send it. Oh. Oh, whoa. That, that was that? chewy. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. A little spin rooney. I didn't want anything to fall off, so I didn't do too much. <laughs> How long did it take you to make this cake? A couple days. Oh, that was pretty smooth. That's okay. a smooth cut. Oh, I don't think it's a good. I'm Who's not? Oh. Oh. oh no, it's candy. Oh. That means you have to eat the whole slice of candy no. cake. His arms crossed. Oh, I had to eat a squid. That's I fun. had to eat a squid. That's fun. Yeah, I think he's gonna All eat right, it, go guys. For it. Go for it. Enjoy. Yeah. Mmm. Mm. How is it? Mm. 
Delicious? Yeah. Mm-hmm. You, didn't Delicious. Even, you didn't even spit it out on the floor. No, it's <laughs> <laughs> he survived. Mama, Papa. Mama, Mama. All right. If everybody gets it good, then I might just. Mama, be. <sighs> Mama, be. You just gotta smell. Like- Hosanna, I'm sorry. <gasps> what what did it? you get? It's an anchovy. Oh! oh! Yes! Oh yeah! Let's yes. go! Mama Join the club. Anchovies. I had to eat Oh, and the smell! Anchovy. You gotta swallow. Swallow it. Oh, there's an anchovy covered in chocolate. At first I thought it was worms. That's gross. Mm. Like, like um, maggots or something? It, it looks, it looks, it looks like, like a worm. It looks like compost on a fork. Uh, she was, oh, she's going for it, man. Oh, I think. Wow, and she's enjoying it. Oh, I think you might like it. Oh, oh, okay, no, no. okay. Here's Tell it. yourself you like it. We have a change. Mm. <laughs> yeah, she got to the meat of it. And now it's... Whoa! Oh, yes. oh. Go, Papa, go. Here we go. All yeah. right. Papa, go. Mm, mm, mm. I have to like, I'm tippy toeing now because I'm, I'm gonna be a huge mess here. <laughs> Ready? <laughs> One, two, okay, three. E- there we go, nice and easy, nice and easy. Oh boy. Oh! I have no idea. What is it? I almost used a bad word. Uh, oh, no. What? What? Um. Come on, come on. It's uh, it's liver pate. Oh! Oh wow! Papa! Don't smell it. Don't smell it. Oh, it's so gross! <laughs> but take a bite. Can I smell? Oh! Oh! It's like cat food. No, I, I can smell it from here, thank you. This is so much worse than tomatoes and mushrooms. Yeah. Yeah, Are you guys ready? I would rather get a tomato in my case than that. Oh, no. Oh! Oh, nice. <laughs> okay, okay. You don't have to overdo it. No. I don't, I'm speechless. I'm like... I think we're all speechless. You're gonna have another bite? Yeah. <laughs> Are you okay? Mm. Yeah? How's it going down, buddy? I'm trying to like... I'm trying to go to a dark place right now. It All I smell is liver. No, oh, he's going for... What are you doing? Papa. Papa. Okay, it's not funny, man. You're not funny. She makes really good cakes. Mm. Okay, so that's everything. No, no, no. Uh, no yo, so. you haven't gone yet. <laughs> I've, I've done this before. No, I don't know. Not with us. Not with us. Not with us. us. Yo. 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 No. 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 Yo. Yes. So no. which one is it? Spin That's again? that one right there. This one. Yep. I, yeah, that one. Oh, <laughs> cheating. Cake. Great. Oh, it feels okay. very good. Oh, it was crunchy. Oh, what? What is that? Oh, no. I got chocolate covered pretzels. Oh! Oh! What a rig. I don't even mm. know why she's doing this. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> it's terrible. Mm. We have to eat octopus and liver, no, liver pool mm. or whatever. We're all like. <laughs> liver pool. Okay, guys, new rule. Anyone who got a good slice has to spin one more time. Oh! Oh, there you go. Oh, let's go. Two for two. I'm ready. I'm ready. <laughs> Three, let's go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh. Oh. No. Okay. All right. Okay. It's Maybe getting weird. Hard. It's getting very misshapen now. <laughs> yeah, I feel like it's pointing more to this one. Yeah, I agree. But, um, some are more nutritious than others. Yes. <laughs> some have protein. Oh. Oh. I oh. Oh. Punch. oh. No way. You gotta be kidding me. No way. Is it corn? No way. Like. Oh, oh my god. god. Two oh, for two. Uh, we're going to buy a lottery ticket right after this. Yeah, you. seriously. Yeah. You're going to buy it. Thank you. Well, Do of it. course you just oh. popped out of your pocket. Thank you. And uh, after this, it's your second turn. Yes. Yes. Yo, 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 yo. Oh, that's an angry spin. <laughs> I'm very worried. Yo, 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 
yo, yo, yo, yo, yo, yo, yo, yo. It's Brussels sprout. Oh, yeah! Yes! Brussels sprouts. <laughs> Yes! yes! Uh, and swallow! Oh, and swallow! Oh. And swallow! And swallow! And swallow! And swallow! And two, two, two. Now swallow. Uh, it's going down the throat! It's going down. Now it's headed to your tummy. Just don't breathe. Don't breathe what you're doing. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. No. <laughs> I had like a little bit of a farty smell. <laughs> It did. Uh, tell them. Tell the yo-yos what you need to tell them. Yo-yos. Queen awesome. yo-yo is amazing. Aww, she's awesome. she's, she's a true so Thank you. Yeah. I did not pay them. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> thank you so much for having us. Thank yeah. you for having thank us. Here. No, thank you for coming. Thank you guys for watching. Please make sure to check me out on the AB Family's channel. We did a Boys Against Girls Cake Challenge. And there was no cheating involved. None no, whatsoever. We didn't, no whatsoever. No. no. Please check it out. There's a link in the description below. Or you can click right here to check that video out. And if you need more cake, check out my Halloween spectacular cakes right here. Don't get scared. <laughs> They're not as scary as this.